Let's come to the first topic that is nature and scope of a human resource planning. Uh, let's start with an opening case study. Uh, you know, it was actually, you know, human resource planning. It was the biggest kind of question mark during 1970s and 80s and other things and all. Human resource planning have been never put into place. It actually, you know, one of the reputed South Indian based uh, university appointed nearly about 200 plus people on temporary basis and paid them 750 rupees per month and later they increased that uh, pay to you know, 1575 rupees per month and uh, unfortunately you know what has happened is over a period of time they analyzed that the the number of people are very surplus in nature and their employee number is very very surplus and eating away 22 percent of their budget allocation originally they thought by employing and you know full-time employees the budget would be exceeded but by having you know more such kind of an uh, what do you call it as uh, temporary employees their budget has exceeded the 22 percent of their original budget and uh, ultimately if you look at it 33 percent of the temporary staff already working for last 10 years and uh, we cannot lay down we cannot, you know, retrench them. We cannot ask them to, you know, probably, uh, what you call it is, uh, stop coming them, you know, or probably make them stop uh, or probably we cannot just like that sack them. So ultimately, if you look into it, we need to work out a lay down procedure for recruitment or an appointment and uh, whoever goes to a vice chancellor's and get your name scribbled uh, on it and, you know, you are, that means you are, you are in, that means you have been completely, you know, taken into full time. So that's the way actually, you know, they adapted and ultimately you know there is no proper kind of a planning and ultimately they don't know what level and what is the kind of an employee has to be there and uh, they don't know what kind of a you know way they need to manage the excess of amount of you know uh, what you call it is uh, the human manpower so these are the ways actually you know what happens is many organizations they does the kind of a planning of human resource without proper kind of planning that ultimately you know makes you shell out a lot of money cost to the company and ultimately you know there is the right kind of a skill set may not be available and right kind of an employee may not be available so that's the way if you look into it human resource planning is a very very important kind of an activity where it's a process of anticipating and making a provision for the movement of people into and within and out of an organization that means ultimately what kind of a people what level of people has to be there and how the entire you know human resource planning process has to be done and how an you know, employee has to be you know uh, what you call it as uh, the, the retrenchment or probably uh, your uh, layoff has to be done so that we can able to maintain the balance so that exactly you know we need to look, look into it so in a simple sentence human resource planning is nothing but how do we try to you know work out the right number of people with the right skills at the right time with the right kind of a cost so this is what you know hr department has to work out the planning aspect of it so ultimately if you look into it uh, to maintain a major objective of human resource planning is to maintain a right time of you know right time we need to you know have the right number of people and we need to forecast that with this you know let's let's say next year what is the right number of people is required and when the opportunities are very high and we need to optimize what is the kind of a right skills of set of people we require and we need to utilize what is the kind of a right cost is involved in maintaining and recruiting all these people so these are the ways actually you know uh, human resource planning which talks about all these aspects and plan well in advance as to you know we could able to work out it for that you know sales force uh, your sales forecasting will help you out in giving a right kind of a, uh, you know uh, assessment number the sales forecasting can be done through various kind of a method. One is your Delphi techniques and another one is your trend projection methods. And a third kind of a technology is, you know, use experts opinions and based on that, you know, we can try to uh, collect a lot of information and based on that, we can able to plan very well.